Hey Pisces, what you doing? I hope this message finds you well, my love. I got a couple of quick downloads for us real quick. Then we going to be on our way to get our day going, okay? So I do hope this message finds you well, as I said. And like always, if you're not feeling the best by the end of this video, you will be my love, all right? Those are my intentions and may they be fulfilled, right? Okay, so if you're new here, hey babe, we're so glad you made it to the house. This yo planet, it was created just for you Pisces. So come on in, let's get to it y'all. Shouts out to all the VIP citizens, the planeteers, and all of those of you guys that have been citizens of Planet Pisces. I truly appreciate you guys. VIPs, make sure your notifications are on. We're doing our monthly live readings tomorrow night. Um, <clears throat> What's today? The 23rd so tomorrow night thursday august the 24th at 6 p.m central standard time so make sure you on time get your questions in okay and if you're not an official vip citizen of your planet what you waiting on it's five dollars a month and you get a whole reading for free every month so get to it i'm gonna leave a link down below for you to uh join the planet before our reading tomorrow evening all right pisces so uh once again i just been getting a lot of downloads a lot of channel messages we gonna have to put this shit together pisces okay so we're gonna use our discernment our intuition and we're gonna place the energies where they go right so i might say something like oh this could be significant that could be significant these things that may be significant could be like um uh signs that you will be seeing in the up and coming near future or that you have already experienced okay so just be aware of that take heed to take note of the things that are said in the reading so when you see this shit lady be like oh Oh, that's what blue was talking about all right okay so i heard a few things i heard it's a new day it's a new dawn right um i also heard you are becoming supernatural you are favored by god so just those things alone made me feel as though you are stepping pisces into a new era is what i heard okay baseball caps can be significant Somebody could like wearing fitted caps or something like that. Okay, I'm seeing the Cardinals. Okay, all right. And the Rams. That's not even what I meant to say. But okay, Rams. St. Louis could be significant. Significant. Um, I was going to say the Ravens. So Baltimore, Maryland, uh, Missouri. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, could be significant. Also, I, I saw as I was driving, I saw this name at least three times in one day. And the name is Arthur. Okay, Arthur. Arthur <laughs> so somebody could be an author okay like a writer or something like that or the name Arthur could be significant okay all right and then um I think it was yesterday like two, two it could have had been before yesterday um I had heard something about a hurricane and then my son said something about a hurricane and I go to the store and I see something about hurricane I'm like yeah least man what you trying to say so hurricanes could be significant something about that being a mascot as well a lot of sports and teams been coming through lately okay so that's definitely putting me in the energy of your spirit team as well pisces that you have support you are supported i'm hearing them say like you can't see us but we're here for you okay all right so just know that you know uh even though we can't see them y'all if you quiet your spirit down enough you could feel them possibly could hear them they may not sound audible like when i tell y'all what i'm hearing i don't hear somebody like talking to my ear it's more of like a feeling that gets interpreted into words if that makes sense okay all right something about auras as well or seeing visions or something okay some of you guys are tapping into your mediumship abilities or something or you may notice that you're becoming more intuitive or or I don't know, feeling more energies about people, okay? It's something about you becoming more aware of energies that are coming around you, right? Like, um, for instance, if, if you may have had trouble following your intuition in the past, I'm feeling as though you're learning more on how to trust your intuition. It's also something here, Pisces, about you getting more rest, okay? And hydrating, right? The ascension symptoms and things like that, headaches, feeling tired even though you might get enough rest with that being said spirit is talking to me about your dreams right now dream journals okay taking note of what you are dreaming they're also talking about the synchronicities signs symbols and omens being sent to you it's something about you recording these things i'm hearing thoth in the emerald tablets right now okay all right so uh thoth could be significant okay uh, that's t-h-o-t-h -H, okay all right all right, it's something about you interpreting something here. All right, 
Someone said in the comments the other day, I keep seeing 444 four, four, or 333 or something like that. Okay, when we're seeing these things, especially if it's oh, 0505 zero, five, zero, five on the clock. So we got big changes going on on our planet. I'm so excited for us, Pisces. Oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> so when we're seeing these numbers, right? Let's say you see these numbers repeatedly throughout the day. First of all, take note of what is on your mind when you are seeing these, these numbers, right? The next thing you'll want to do is look up the base meaning for the numbers, especially if you're seeing something like one number repeated, like four, 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 one, one, one. Look up the meaning of four, right? Look up the meaning of four, four, four. Whatever you need to do is what you're doing is building a communication system with your spirit team. Yo, this time last year, I'll say this time two years ago. I didn't I didn't know nothing about all this shit. It's a practice. It's a daily practice practice right and in order to strengthen your muscle your spiritual muscles you gotta practice that shit you know what i'm saying so just take heed to that take note of that pisces i do believe you are becoming supernatural okay your boy dr joe dispenza one of the greatest oh my god i love him um as a teacher to of really quantum physics physics metaphysics and basically it's shit becoming supernatural check it out okay he has so many videos on youtube so many great meditations y'all all right it's also something here <clears throat> about setting a routine on dina i think it was you in the comment section sis and you was like sis how do i how do i battle this spiritual warfare right and if you try things y'all um and they aren't working of course we know the first thing is prayer right sometimes you might need to fast my loves okay when you're not receiving messages at all or either as clearly as you once were sometimes that's like a hello we got to get this system cleaned out right so y'all know in the past i've preached about the benefits of harataki tea right h-a-r-i-t-a-k-i all right you get on amazon for like twenty dollars one bag lasts me literally six months so three three to six months depending on if i'm doing it once or twice a day right um but it is uh it helps to decalcify the pineal gland right also cutting back on things like fluoride okay making sure your water is at a, a, a specific um ph balance for your body because everybody's body don't operate the same with alkaline water you know what i'm saying you got to listen to your body okay of course they're going to be like the basics that we can all do but you still have to listen to your body over everything all right pisces all right i'm also here and honor your body okay all right okay all right so um and so i looked up i'm like hurricane arthur so i looked up hurricane arthur who who is arthur you know what I mean? <laughs> okay so in 2014 that year could be significant hurricane arthur it was actually a hurricane hit North Carolina, okay? So June the 28th could be significant, North Carolina, all right? And before then, the last uh, hurricane was Hurricane Isaac. So that name could be significant, which happened in 2012, all right? Um, California, Georgia could be significant. I also heard Simpson, okay? So <laughs> that just made me think about how the Simpsons be predicting shit, okay? So it's something about you tapping into an energy that is going to give you a leg up or something like you're gonna know what's gonna happen before it happens or something like that and it's not only that you're gonna know it because we all have our feelings and you know like oh maybe maybe it's something about you knowing like oh no i'm confident in this shit like i know you understand what i'm saying <laughs> okay all right then i heard I, I saw this this name as well in multiple places and it was marietta okay so of course that made me think of georgia first but i had to look it up and it means beloved rebellious star of the sea my ninjas come on come on for all my aqua pisces first deacon pisces okay what you doing hey i mean this could resonate for any deacon first second or third right and the deacons are like the what part of the Pisces season you were born in? So like first deacon is the first like 10 days of Pisces season. Second deacon like the next 10 and the third deacon is the last 10, right? Okay, don't quote me exactly on those days because sometimes it could be like eight days, nine days, 10 days. So just go research. What I always say, y'all research the shit out for yourself now, okay? But if you're born in that first deacon and you're born within like the first day, I think maybe up to five days, but I like say three to five days after 
of Pisces season starts, you would be considered on the cusp. And that also works for at the end of Pisces season, going into every season, you could be on that cusp as well. So you could be a cusper, an aqua Pisces, or Pisces Aries, okay? All right. Okay, something about perfect timing. Okay, the I see you could be significant or those letters. I see 10, 10 on the clock. I literally seen 10, 10 this morning and last night. That could be very significant. Big as closing outs of cycles. Okay, all right. But um, yeah, so uh, Aquarius could be significant. But this also puts me in the, um, <clears throat> the mind of Aquarius energy. Very innovative, very unique. Okay, all right. All right. All right. And it's also, um, okay. The star, hope, positivity. Yes. Thank you, spirit. Positivity is something here about you staying in a positive mind frame, right? Remember, no matter what this 3D world, the, the material, this, this thing we live in right here, no matter what it shows you, we still have to operate from a place of faith, hope, and knowing, right? that whatever we desire we deserve that shit so it shall be you understand what i'm saying the only thing that stops us from having what we truly desire is us right that's it can't shit else stop us all right it's something here about you knowing you protect it and it doesn't matter what anybody throws at you regardless you understand we have to know that shit i am protected i am favored by god so shit can't touch me my ninja you understand okay all right all right now, okay, listen, I'm hearing somebody ask, well, what about like if somebody does it? Okay, a person can throw shit at you, Pisces, but that is when you have to make sure your spiritual defenses are up, right? That you're praying, that you're doing your spiritual practice. There's also something here about a morning routine or a night routine or maybe both. Some sort of routine here for you to get you um, a herd in order or get something in order here or something, okay? So it's something about you placing things in order, okay? All right, I'm also seeing like a cross. You might wear a cross or have a cross up somewhere in your house or like ward off enemies or demons, all right? Mm. Okay. All right, something about like a heart-shaped statue or something too, or... Mm. Or the heart of God. I don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay, so then I heard Spirit say, you can control the weather. Spirit, what you talking about? <laughs> it made me think about Native Americans again, right? And how they do like rain dances and things like that. So um, after I heard that, then I also heard moods. So it's something here like, your mood, like the way you're feeling can affect the masses, Pisces, okay? Some of y'all might be able to control the weather. I don't know. Now, don't forget about Joshua and the Bible. You understand me? Because when you're favored by God, you get shit like that. I'm just saying that's my belief anyway. You know what I'm saying? Joshua, when he was, who was he fighting? The Canaanites or something in the Bible? And he was like, yo, God, what up? I'm trying to fight these ninjas and it's getting dark. I'm going to need you to holler, like help, help a ninja out. Let the sun stay up there. Let the moon stay right there so it could be daylight and we could fight these mofos and win. And God did that shit. He granted him that prayer request. You understand what I'm saying? Know that you have that same connection with God. It might not happen when you want to, but it's always right on time, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? All right, so, and then... On top of that, not only did God do that, but if I'm not mistaken, he caused the weather to change or something too so that like they really get messed up, like the 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 opponents, you know what I'm saying? The ops and shit, all right? So um, I also heard harp, right? So somebody could play a musical instrument, but I was thinking of H-A-A-R-P, the weather control system, you know what I'm saying, that they have in America or Canada or somewhere like that, okay? Um, Quebec could also be significant, all right? Um, I heard geoengineering and cloud seeding. The states, Texas, Utah, Colorado, Nevada, Idaho, New Mexico, and again, California. California, Texas, and Georgia. Y'all been coming through. What it do, boo? Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Those states could be significant. As they say, that's where they do cloud seeding at. But I feel like they be doing it well, but they want to. All right. It could also be something here about um, what you call them chem trails okay chemical trails all right um and altering someone's mental or something okay all right that movie they clone or who cloned tyrone could be significant okay 
all right or you could be noticing or waking up to the lies and shit of the government or whatever you understand what i'm saying um but just like uh you might be tapping further into what they call conspiracy theories but be like 90 percent of them all be true right anyway i'm not gonna discuss all that um <laughs> but it's something like that like you're coming into an awareness of more things around you you understand what i'm saying okay all right um let's see rashad jamal could be significant or those names could be i kept seeing things about him okay and not just on youtube but like i'm you know hearing the name in other places so i'm like okay i don't know somebody could have something going on with a trial or jail or somebody okay something like that all right um then i got three numbers i was driving the other day and spirit showed me three numbers while i was out random ass numbers the first one was 11 16 right the second one was 77 76 right and then the last one was 13 27 now these numbers could be you know they could go exactly how they are consecutively how i listed them or it could be a combination of things you could keep seeing like one um 11 16 for instance you can keep seeing 11s or 16s or sixes or ones so just put the energy where it goes okay literally it was 16 10 on the clock great um cast your fears the 16 i'm sorry 11 16 um when i looked it up it says cast your fears and doubts aside and achieve pure positive thinking pisces right the next number 77 76 focus your mind on manifesting your desires use your inner strength and wisdom to bring what you want into existence now i'm gonna read this other one for y'all because it was kind of lengthy um 1327 find balance between work leisure and rest time right we always have to make sure we're definitely i guess that's why the spirit was saying something about your schedule or setting a routine it's like you i feel like you are pulled in multiple directions here pisces but you have to carve out time <laughs> spirit is literally showing me somebody carving um <laughs> carve out time okay to focus, to give yourself love and love and <laughs> I need love and affection. That's what I just heard. Okay, Rihanna and Future. That song can be significant. Love. Okay, <laughs> but all right, it's yeah, all of that. So let me finish reading this for y'all. So it says, relaxing and taking the time to meditate and connect and communicate with the angels will assist you with manifesting your desired results and outcomes. Stay focused upon serving your life purpose and trust that the angels encourage and support you, right? All right. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Stay open to receiving angelic help and guidance. All right. It also encourages you to pay special attention to your dreams. Oh, my gosh. Daydreams, visions, and reoccurring thoughts, Pisces, and feelings, Right. It's definitely something here about your dreams, baby. Pay attention, pay attention, okay? It says the angels are sending you divine guidance regarding your life path and purpose and ask that you take action accordingly, okay? Your meditations, prayers, and positive affirmations have aligned you with your divine spiritual path, life purpose, and soul mission. Angel number 1327 suggests that you'll be called upon to take positive actions and apply your natural talent, skills, and knowledge in useful and helpful ways. Use your spiritual values, intuition, and communication skills to uplift and enlighten others. Whew. Give me just a second because I just heard something, but spirit just took that thought completely away from me. Okay, thank you. Brought it back. Um, I don't know how to say it though. Hold on. Okay, let's say, for instance, you're trying to manifest something and you're not seeing, like, it's not coming into fruition. I'm hearing, like, rethink your purpose for what you're trying to manifest, right? Are you trying to manifest something just for your own good? Maybe you need to reevaluate this and look at it as, how can this help the collective? How can this help my auntie? Shit, I don't know. How can this help my community? You understand what I'm saying? Like, especially if you're creating something or you want to launch something or anything like that, right? It can't come from a place of, ooh, I'm doing this for so I can get money. You know what I'm saying? Chasing after money and cars and jewelry and bitches and stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's something about having a deeper purpose in your desires. You understand? All right? Okay? All right. 
that has been the channeled messages pisces i did shuffle this deck and as i was the preserve your energies card came out and give yourself time to heal i'm gonna do a couple more shuffles to see what other messages spirit your spirit team wants you to know regarding you becoming supernatural and you being favored by god right all right i'm hearing i'm hearing you you teach others how to treat you. Are you treating yourself with kindness, love, affection? You understand what I'm saying? Are you pampering yourself, right? Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. All right, it might, okay. It says, don't take this for granted. It came out in the reverse and see the big picture. I feel like th this is what you are doing, Pisces. I feel as though you are tapping in to see the bigger picture i think this is what is de developing for you okay it's something about you paying attention to your health though like uh or like the synchronicities like we've been talking about you know what i'm saying like um the messages from your angel saints acknowledging them and not just like oh i just saw 111 oh i just saw. no look that shit up you know what i'm saying like research it my ninja it's all good to see it you know your angel saying something to you but what the hell are they saying look it up go within you know what i'm saying tap in baby figure that shit out it's within you you have the answers all of them live within you it's just about you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, look on the bottom of the deck. Firstly, love your damn self, okay? <laughs> you teach people how to treat you. All right, now before we go, I got to shout out all my babes especially the vips and the planet tears hey y'all okay devon what it do boo okay christina mr moses 777 what's up king love you so much bro all right jasmine taylor with a u okay <laughs> queen stephanie mark michelle shelly Alysium, Alysium, table star moses and crystal and babs x i don't know why youtube changed shit and they be showing us y'all's handles now instead of your name so sorry babs x but it didn't show me your like name okay <laughs> It showed your email address. So anyway, I love you guys so very much. Again, don't forget to sign up to be a part of the VIP Citizens crew. Gang, gang, we're going to be on tomorrow night live reading. You get in, you can ask one question um, to Spirit, one specific question. Um, and we will get that reading. And depending on how many of us turn up for the reading, we may be able to go a second time. But usually when we tap in, we tap in and we get the answer that's needed. And if anything else needs to come out, Spirit's going to let that shit come out, okay? All right, so I love you guys so very much. I'm so appreciative to you. And I will see y'all down below in the comments or in the next video. Bye, Pisces.